world's dumbest criminals caught on camera. Yes, please. It goes without saying that having a CCTV camera installed at your premises will act as a deterrent to anyone carrying out illegal activities. The sight of a camera stirs up an air of danger and the presence of the law, deterring anyone planning to carry out a crime from doing so. At least sometimes. You're about to see some of the most clueless burglars ever. From dangerous ATM thefts to disguises gone way wrong. 20 dumbest robberies caught on camera. Suspect fleeing police falls through ceiling. Our first stop, Canada. Two people suspected of trying to use stolen credit cards were arrested west of Edmonton, Alberta, but not before going to great lengths to avoid police. On a Monday afternoon at 1.17 p.m., police responded to a complaint that a man and a woman were trying to use stolen credit cards at the local convenience store in Spruce Grove. Police arrived and tried to arrest the pair, but they said the man pushed the woman at an officer, and then the pair allegedly fought the officer in an attempt to resist arrest. While an officer was trying to get the man under control, the woman runs to the back of the store attempting to escape. Having to think fast, the female suspect climbs a ladder in the back room into the ceiling panels to try and evade police. But the ceiling did not support her weight, and as you can see, she plummets through the ceiling panels, crashing through a shelf and onto the floor. Ouch. The convenience store owner helped the responding officer with arresting both suspects and thankfully nobody involved received any significant injuries. But the footage lives on forever and has been viewed millions of times since it went viral. The male suspect was charged with 11 offenses while the female was charged with obstructing a police officer, failing to comply, and mischief under $5,000. Man pours beverage into ATM to steal. While we can easily comprehend why someone would be motivated to commit a crime, we are a little confused by this thief's judgment when they were hatching their plan. Why would he think that pouring liquid into an ATM machine would result in an easy cash grab? This man has recently been detained for pouring drinks into ATMs in East China city of Nanjing. The man thought he could get the ATMs to cough up cash this way. But he only ended up damaging the machines. A quick Google search will reveal a slew of articles about thieves breaking into or stealing ATMs from locations, ranging from exterior bank walls to shopping malls. Criminals use tools ranging from trucks to construction equipment to tear ATMs apart and then later access the cash within. However, physical threats are not the only security concerns for ATMs. Outdated key standards and card skimming are also major issues in the ATM industry. And apparently, pouring a drink is now too. Surveillance video at one bank ATM showed the suspect empty two bottles into the machine, and then striking it twice. Footage taken at the two other cash points revealed him committing similar acts. Officers caught up with him eventually, and the suspect told police he attempted the harebrained scheme to cover a gambling debt. Shoplifting Grandma Thieves often come with ingenious, if devious, ways to conceal their stolen goods. But this grandma took things much further. By stuffing her stolen items into her skirt as she shoplifted at a store in Mexico, this elderly woman doesn't look like your average thief, but looks can be deceiving. For this woman with her long floaty skirt and meek manner, she was caught red-handed raiding a local grocery store, stealing an entire week's worth of groceries. The woman helped herself to an array of shopping staples, including chewing gum and even cans of drink. But it was the unique place where she stashed it and her choice of items that has really stunned web users. Reaching inside her clothes, the unidentified woman squirreled away an entire week's worth of groceries. But in the CCTV footage that's going viral, she brings a whole host of items out, enough to fill a shopping cart. She brings out boxes and boxes of chewing gum and even a few drinks to wash them down with. Compared to a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat, users were stunned by the number of items she'd managed to nick by stashing in her pants. Her crime spree soon, however, came to an abrupt end after security guards caught on. Told to hand them over, the sheepish shoplifter is told in Spanish to give back all of the stolen items. Insurance Scammer Court officials said that this 58-year-old was sentenced to two years of probation and 14 hours of community service. In addition, the defendant paid restitution in the amount of $563.48 to an insurance company at the time of sentencing. Why, you ask? Fraud. 
the defendant purposefully threw ice on the floor in the cafeteria at his workplace, placed himself on the ground, and waited until he was discovered. Thereafter, he sought medical attention, claiming a head injury and making false claims to be submitted to the insurance company. As you can see, the man can be seen getting ice from an ice machine in the cafeteria, then walking away a short distance before deliberately throwing the cubes onto the floor to execute the fake fall. He then turns around and takes a few small steps, walking back to where the ice is visible, and quickly looks around before gingerly laying out on the floor. Busted, it was all caught by cameras. The prosecution of this insurance fraud was part of the statewide insurance fraud crackdown. But after an investigation, as you can see, this footage revealed that he lied about the fall. After the arrest, the sentence was imposed after the man pleaded guilty to third-degree insurance fraud, admitting he filed a false insurance claim for injuries he said he sustained at this business. A man got stuck in ATM. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place, except this time it was a wall and an ATM. The man was allegedly trying to steal money from the ATM. Residents of the area heard some noises while he was trying to break open the machine from the rear and call the cops. But this guy wasn't going anywhere. This man was filmed desperately trying to free himself after he got stuck between the ATM and the opening in the wall where the machine was placed. When the cops arrived, they found the man stuck between the wall and the machine. Clearly, this man had underestimated the size of the hole he was working with. Or maybe he was just too drunk. According to media reports, the accused was intoxicated when he broke the wall with stones. As per reports, in his drunken state, removed the plywood on the wall behind the ATM and managed to reach the back of the machine. People in the area heard an unusual noise after which they informed the police. Immediately after receiving the information, the police reached the spot and found the accused, who had broken the machine for stealing money. Trapped in the machine, after which they took him out and arrested him. But the footage will live on in infamy. Hopefully this criminal learned their lesson. It was probably the easiest arrest the local law officials ever made. Shoplifter gets surprised when he gets locked in store. Yet another example of not thinking something through. This shoplifter walked into a store in Florida as it was preparing to close for the day. He talked for about 30 minutes on his cell phone while wandering around the clothing store. His plan was to make a dash with his arms full of clothing and run out the front doors. But to his surprise, employees had already locked the doors ready for closing. Needless to say, this was not a part of his plan. As you can see, when the thief realizes he's locked inside, he loses his cool and starts kicking the door, dropping the clothes. He can be seen on video frantically kicking the door while trying to break it open and yelling at employees to open the door. As one of the employees is about to unlock the door and let him out, he realizes he can unlock the bolt himself and pushes the employee to the ground. You'd think he'd just make a run for it, but nope. This less than smooth criminal wasn't going to leave the clothing behind. He grabs what he can from the floor and leaves, jumping into a red truck waiting outside of the store. The video surveillance captured a clear photo of the thief, who deputies say got away with nearly $200 in merchandise. The store employee had a message for the brazen thief. Turn yourself in and stop doing this. It's not worth it. Alleged carjackers realize they can't drive a stick. In Maryland, USA recently, at approximately 4.36 p.m., police officers responded to this gas station for the report of a carjacking. You're looking at it. The investigation by detectives determined that the adult male victim finished pumping his gas and attempted to enter his car when he observed these juveniles running towards him. The juveniles forced the door open, grabbed a hold of the victim, and demanded his keys. The victim complied with the juvenile's demands. As you can see, they entered the victim's car and attempted to drive away. Unable to drive a manual transmission, the juveniles exited the vehicle and left the scene on foot. So, clearly they hadn't put much thought into the type of car they wanted to sell. It really would have helped them to pick a car with automatic transmission, not stick. So their only option was to abort and run. Not long after, officers observed the two youths nearby. When officers attempted to apprehend them, they fled on foot. After a brief foot chase, the juveniles were quickly apprehended. Both juveniles were arrested and transported to a criminal processing unit, where they were charged as adults, with one count of carjacking and one count of conspiracy carjacking. They are currently being held without bond. The thief covered his face with toilet paper. 
1890, toilet paper started to look a lot more like the stuff we're used to seeing today. It came on a roll in perforated sheets. It was a tough sell though because no one wanted to admit to buying it. So if toilet paper was a tough sell at first, what changed? By the end of the 19th century, more and more homes were being built with sit-down flush toilets. People needed something that could go in the bowl and fit down the pipes. Toilet paper as we know it was a natural fit. And finally, in 1930, the first splinter-free toilet paper was introduced. Yep, not until 1930. And remarkably, this criminal found a different way to use it that we certainly never would have thought of. In today's edition of What Were You Thinking, we have a robber who decided to wrap toilet paper around his head to avoid identification. CCTV cameras captured a man sneaking into an empty infirmary in China to commit burglary. He had wrapped toilet paper around his whole face to hide it. And since the footage was released, it has gone completely viral. Such a great post, wrote one commentator on the video, which has been dubbed the mummified robbery by local media. What do you think of this new disguise? Unfortunately for him, another camera captured his face at a moment when it was paper free, and police managed to arrest the suspect. Shoplifter wearing nine pairs of jeans. A woman has been caught wearing eight pairs of jeans at once, along with her own, after she allegedly tried to walk out of a shop wearing them. After her extreme denim layering is discovered, she's forced to whip them down one by one in a video that has now amassed millions of views. You don't have to be a professional fashion designer to know that jeans are one of the world's most popular styles of pants. They're worn by men, women, and children of all ages and backgrounds. This thief clearly is a big fan. In the video, a woman who has not been identified can be seen standing in a bathroom being watched as she reveals the hidden pairs of jeans. A voice behind the camera can be heard counting the number of pairs she's wearing as she pulls them down. After pulling down the eighth pair, she flashes her underwear to prove that really is the last pair she's wearing. While denim jeans were originally invented for gold prospectors during the 1800s, the trend didn't stop there. Due to their sheer strength and durability, many men and women took notice of these pants, buying and adding them to their own wardrobes. This spurred the first real fashion trend of denim jeans. Hopefully this type of crime doesn't also become a trend. But you can't fault her love of fashion, just her poor decision making. Man steals beer, loses his pants. This would-be thief got away with nothing, not even his dignity. The CCTV footage shows one of the worst escapes ever after a robbery at a store in Florida. The suspect was racing towards his getaway car with a case of beer in his arms when his baggy pants proved his undoing. The jeans tumbled down around his waist, causing the suspect to go crashing into the pavement. He skids for what must have been a very painful half a foot or so on his stomach as beer flies everywhere. Bottles roll on the ground spraying froth over him. To those in the know, wearing jeans like this is called sagging a male fashion trend that has dipped in and out since the early 1990s. One of the most widely repeated stories proposes that an American prison system is where the trend first originated. Prisoners were often given uniforms that were several sizes too big for them and were not allowed belts. This led to inmates' trousers riding at half-mast much of the time. As prisoners were released, they continued to wear their trousers like this, and it wasn't long before it crept into the dress code. Abandoning the beer, this thief yanks his saggy jeans up as he races for the back seat of the car. But we bet he wishes he'd worn his jeans the way they were intended. Man tries to break into house and is caught by police. This is the dramatic moment a bungling burglar screams, Aye, you got me, as he is ambushed by police after using a crowbar to break into an occupied house in broad daylight. The would-be thief was whacked with a baton and tackled to the ground after officers caught him trying to force open a patio door, thinking the property in Scotland was empty. What he didn't realize was that somebody was at home and they were secretly filming the brazen break-in attempt from an upstairs window while dialing for help. Police raced to the scene where five officers ambushed the suspect before hauling him away. The shocking two-minute clip went viral and has been viewed millions of times. It shows the suspect wearing a black Nike baseball cap and orange gloves, standing next to a pile of broken glass near the patio door, menacingly clutching the crowbar. 
crunching glass is heard as he tries to pry open the lock with it. He pauses to check for witnesses but fails to notice the open window directly above him. Meanwhile, the witness takes cover behind the windowsill and continues to film as the determined crook struggles in vain. Suddenly, a police officer in a high-vis jacket sneaks up behind him, and without warning, criminal down. Mission accomplished. The first officer says, up you get, then drags the man to his feet and leads him away in handcuffs. A Mission Impossible style raid. What was this brazen thief thinking? This burglar may just be one of the dumbest criminals in the world after a bumbling raid on a computer store in Australia. The shop owner, detectives, and now the world has since been laughing at CCTV footage of the video. It was all quiet at the store until the thief crashed through the roof while attempting a Mission Impossible style raid. Who does this guy think he is, Tom Cruise? The police found it so funny that they decided to add theme music from the Hollywood blockbuster to the security video that shows the clumsy criminal come crashing down. In reality, an alarm was sounding as the panicked man jumped off the table, with the rope still clinging to his foot. It's just one disaster after another for this less than smooth criminal. What hurt even more was that the burglar had to waste valuable time retrieving his dangling shoe. His attempt to steal laptops was thwarted by the fact that they are all connected to store infrastructure by wires. Then, even more bad news, the front and back doors are barred. He was forced to climb back through the roof, leaving empty-handed. Just in case he hadn't secured up his case as the dumbest criminal ever, the man left a sock behind to assist police even further. Failed Queensland ATM Theft a burglar's two bungled attempts to steal an ATM from a Northern Australian service station has earned him no money, but more than half a million views on social media. It just gets worse and worse for this guy, but funnier for everyone watching this footage. A video released by the local police complete with humorous music shows the man breaking his way into a business, ignoring the fact that the man's escapades were caught on tape via several closed circuit TV cameras things appear to get off to an okay start. With a brick and a sledgehammer, he smashes his way in before tying the chain around the ATM inside. Trouble begins, however, when the would-be burglar, with hook and chain in tow, gets caught on a rotating display. Having successfully attached the hook to the ATM, the man returns to his vehicle, stolen of course. He doesn't notice that the chain has come loose and, in his excitement, drives off. The ATM unsurprisingly does not follow. The only problem for the offender was that he had not realized that his chain wasn't attached when he attempted to drive off. Whoops number one. He returned a short time later attempting to reconnect the chain to his vehicle, but did not park close enough to hook it up. Whoops number two. After a half-hearted attempt to continue with the crime, the offender gave up and drove off. Man caught red-handed while trying to break ATM machine. They build these ATMs to be extremely sturdy and safe, but that doesn't stop people from trying to bust into them. A man was caught red-handed while trying to break an ATM machine in Pakistan recently. The masked man entered the ATM booth to steal cash from the automated teller machine. He was seen in the CCTV footage while taking out tools from his pocket. And once he looked towards the surveillance camera, the man used the tools to break the ATM machine and made many attempts to pull out the cash tray. But what he didn't know was the fact that police were already on the scene. He was completely unaware of the presence of the police officials outside the ATM booth. After noticing the police there, he made a failed attempt to flee, but he was immediately arrested after he came out of the ATM booth. The first thing to know about ATMs is that they're designed and built with potential break-ins taken into account. There are measures in place to hinder criminals from breaking into the machine and taking all the cash inside. Obviously, this doesn't prevent criminals from trying, but most of the time it does keep them from succeeding. Thieves can still cause damage to the machine, but it's far more difficult to actually gain access to the vault or cabinet where the money is held. Thief returned a man's wallet after seeing CCTV camera. This is the hilarious moment a man appears to have been caught stealing a man's wallet at a bank machine before handing it back after realizing he's on camera. The footage, which was filmed in Germany and appeared online recently, shows a bearded man reaching into the pocket of a man at an ATM and removing his wallet. The thief can be seen glancing around before spotting a camera pointing right at him, at which point he starts apologizing before dropping the wallet on the ground. 
Pickpocketing is a form of larceny that involves the stealing of money and other valuables from the person or a victim's pocket without them noticing. Usually, it involves considerable dexterity and a knack for misdirection. Pickpockets and other thieves, especially those working in teams, sometimes apply distractions such as asking a question or bumping into the victim. These distractions sometimes require sleight of hand, speed, misdirection, and other types of skills. This guy isn't much of a thief, but at least his vision is good. However, viewers have pointed out that the video appears too unsteady to have been taken from a fixed CCTV camera, and the victim's unconvincing hand movements at the machine have all led people to conclude the video is not genuine. Even so, millions of people have watched the footage online. An Ultimate Trap by Owner One of the most disappointing parts of having your own business is that sometimes you will be victimized by bad people, such as shoplifters, muggers, and burglars. This thief broke into a store, but little did he know that the owner prepared for him this time around. This hilarious security camera footage shows us what a store owner did to protect his business from thieves, since his place has been robbed several times already. What this brilliant guy did is to set up an ultimate snare that would teach the burglar a lesson for good. The potential threat of theft is an unfortunate fact of life for businesses and homeowners alike. Burglar alarm systems are installed regularly in the hopes of not adding to the astounding statistic. In 2013 alone, $4.5 billion in property loss was the result of over a million burglaries in the United States. Many store owners have had to deal with multiple robbery attempts and successes for their thieves. The person who made the video you're about to watch decided he wasn't going to be the victim of robberies anymore. The hallway in this interior is nothing but a big trap for this rat in a maze. You'll be laughing out loud at the idiocy of the thief as he does everything he can to try to escape the situation. Try as he may, the burglar later realized that there's no escaping this kind of trap. Looks like a 90s comedy movie. Not all criminals are as capable as the characters in crime dramas or as confident as the villains in the James Bond movie. Some criminals are clumsy, incompetent, and hilarious. And that's why this video of thieves in Brazil trying to steal a television from someone's home is making the rounds online. The trio looks like it belongs in an old-timey comedy film or a jail cell. Either works. Firstly, the guy can't get the TV off the wall. When the second criminal arrives, he smashes into the building before getting inside. Once a third person arrives, the television is completely destroyed by the time they get it off the wall. The key word in this situation is trying, because even three grown criminals weren't able to accomplish this task, and they hurt themselves several times in the process, like they were in a 90s comedy movie. But as they flee, it's clear to see that they are fully aware of how terribly their botched burglary ended up. Run fellas, run! When the video was posted online, internet users were quick to poke fun at the thieves who broke into the home and caused a lot of damage this way, but ended up with nothing. While other people noticed that the thieves weren't even wearing gloves, so they must have left their fingerprints and DNA everywhere. Good luck with not getting caught, fellas. Wearing clear water bottle mask In the southern USA, a burglar in Georgia is wanted after trying to disguise himself using a water bottle packaging on his head and face. Yup, you heard that right. This criminal used see-through plastic in an attempt to foil security cameras. Described by officers as a crafty, disguised gent. Police said the suspect burglarized a video game store. He must have thought a disguise was mandatory to commit a crime because how else can you describe the lazy mask he chose? The disguise was entirely see-through and did absolutely nothing to hide his identity. The crook might as well have worn a name tag while rummaging through the store. However, he was able to get away, but it didn't take long for police to identify the suspect. Police did not say if he actually stole anything from the business. Police said he has two active felony warrants for his arrest for burglary and criminal damage to property in the second degree. Have you ever given any thought to what your disguise was going to be when you decided the life of crime was your bag of water? Well, this guy did. And yes, he used a plastic bag used as packaging for bottled water. Did it work? Nope, it did not. But where would we be if these criminals didn't execute their dumb ideas and set such bad examples? Next case. Thieves roll on during burglary. 
A group of thieves dubbed the Inchworm Bandits, for their bizarre MO, stole hundreds of dollars from a Texas restaurant recently. The three burglars broke into the joint in Houston after hours, crawling along the floor in what appears to be an attempt to avoid the cameras. The three hooded bandits smashed the front window of the business and then made their way through the dining room and behind the bar, not standing up until they reached the kitchen. The staff has taken to calling them the inchworm bandits because they're inchworming their way across the dining room floor, all the way to the kitchen. The thieves made off with $450 tip money for the servers who worked over the weekend. They also caused an estimated $2,000 worth of damage. Managers said that the suspects caused about $2,000 worth of damage and it is the third time the restaurant has been broken into. Manager said the last time the crooks used a sledgehammer and a crowbar and walked out with about five bottles of expensive tequila. Police are investigating whether the thieves are the same people caught on camera carrying out a similar crime at another restaurant. It may not have been a good plan, but at least these burglars stuck to it. Unable to fix mask. One of Australia's dumbest criminals has been caught on camera. The man was filmed putting on a balaclava in full view of CCTV at this Australian service station, just moments before robbing it. As you can see, the thief spent several moments choosing his disguise in front of the service station on the highway. After putting on a pair of sunglasses and a hood, the thief eventually settled on a balaclava. The balaclava clearly didn't do the job. Could this be Australia's dumbest robber? So, what's up with the balaclava in regard to its origin? A balaclava is a snug garment worn over the head and neck, often with holes cut out for the eyes, nose, and mouth. It's also called a ski mask, though that term conjures bank robber in our minds. The name comes from their use at the Battle of Balaclava during the Crimean War of 1854, where British troops were wearing knitted headgear to keep warm. Handmade balaclavas were sent over to the British troops to help protect them from the bitter cold weather. Fast forward to today, this dude is caught trying on his balaclava disguise in full view of CCTV before walking into the service station and demanding cash from the attendant. But he failed incredibly even before he went inside after his face was caught in clear view on camera. So yes, this is Australia's dumbest criminal. May the mistakes of these criminals teach us all a lesson. First, crime doesn't pay. Second, if you have to resort to criminal behavior, it sure helps to have a solid plan in place. You still might end up in jail, but you won't look like an idiot when the security footage goes viral.